Concordia football season might be remembered for the record-setting performances, the four-game winning streak, or another year of overflow attendance numbers. But it will go into the books as a year of renewed commitment to the team and a rekindled spirit into getting the Cobbers back to the top of the MIC. Together we will! One, two, three, yeah, we will! Concordia entered the year with a team full of youthful energy and a group of experienced players that carried the motto, Together We Will. That newfound team spirit translated into a pair of non-conference wins in the first two games of the year. Concordia came out in the season opener, scored 37 unanswered points, and rolled over Dickinson State 37 to 13. The Cobbers seized control of the game in the second half when the black shirt defense held the Blue Hawks to only 32 yards, while the offense was on their way to carving up almost 400 yards of total offense. Fullback Brett Bonney served notice that he was going to have a breakout season as he rushed for two touchdowns. While returning all-conference quarterback Michael Dunham went 12 for 19 and threw one TD pass. Senior defensive end Robin Wisner was a beast in the opener as he forced a fumble, recovered a fumble, and was a force on special teams. He went on to earn MIC Player of the Week and D3Football.com Team of the Week honors. The early season conference carried over on the road when the Cobbers pounded out a 35-14 win over Buena Vista in Storm Lake, Iowa. Concordia then turned its attention to the MIC season where they hosted arch rival St. John's in the conference opener. 
Another capacity crowd watched the Carvers and Johnnies battle down to the wire. Despite coming up a foot short of a game time score in overtime, Concordia served notice to the rest of the league that they would be one of the teams to beat in the 2011 campaign. The Concordia offense took to the air against St. John's and senior wideout Bronson Shepard turned into a spectacular game, catching eight passes for a career high 106 yards. The Cowboys ran into eventual MIC champion St. Thomas the very next weekend, and they gave the Tommies all they could handle. He'll keep it himself, and the Cowboys are waiting for him, and go down at the 14-yard line. The Concordia put down. up 30 Mike points in a 48-30 loss, which would be the most points that St. Thomas gave up all season long, and the most they allowed in two full seasons. The Cowboys scored on the third play of the game, to bring the crowd of almost 5,000 fans to their feet. Chris Gilson is at the 20. Chris Gilson is in the end zone. Touchdown. Oh, a quick slant up there right up the middle. And the covers score on the third play from the line of scrimmage. Dunham would go on to throw for over 300 yards against the stingy Tommy defense. And Gilson finished up with a career best 115 receiving yards. Eight different Concordia players caught passes in the game as the Cowboys refused to give in for the full 60 minutes. Concordia used the momentum from their second half surge against nationally ranked St. Thomas to rattle off four straight wins. Again rolls to the right side and hands off. And oh my, what a hit. Oh my, what a hit delivered. The Cowboys went on the road to beat Gustavus and Carlton, returned home to post a memorable homecoming victory against Augsburg, and then beat Hamlin in St. Paul to record their longest winning streak since 2005. During those four games, the Concordia defense came up with key turnovers, refused to allow opponents an easy path to the end zone, while the offense came up with big game after big game. Thompson Shepard, touchdown! Concordia's streak was finally brought to a halt in another memorable game with nationally ranked Bethel. The biggest news of that game came in the third quarter when quarterback Michael Dunham broke the school record for career passing yards. A nine-yard completion to Matt Peterson cemented Dunham's name in the record books for years to come. The Cowboys finished off the year with an offensive slugfest at St. Olaf. Concordia lit up the scoreboard for 34 points and the offense gained almost 500 yards. At the end of the year, Concordia was able to look back at a season where the individual accomplishments outshine the team's finish, but in that case, the sum was much better than the parts. The Cowboys had 16 players earn all-conference honors, including Michael Dunham, who goes down as the school's all-time leading passer in career yards, career completions, and career attempts, as well as the single-season record holder in all three categories. He also earned all-conference honors for the second straight year. Joining Dunham as first or second team All-MIC selections were offensive linemen Tom Noten and Tom Quist, who helped the Cobber offense finish third in the league in rushing and passing. Fullback Brett Bounty, who racked up 15 rushing touchdowns and 16 total TDs. And wide receiver Bronson Shepard, who led the MIC receptions as well as defensive standouts, Mark Whitecor, Bryce Henches, Paul Strike, and Matt Mankadink, who were a part of the Blackshirt defense that were in the top five of the MIC in six different statistical categories. The nine players were just a part of the entire Concordia squad that came together, renewed their commitment to the team, and set the foundation for a rise to the top of the MIC.